Hey everyone, uh, looks like the home light actually has two strings wound into it, so I was wrong on that. So I went down to Home Depot and I picked up the cartridge. Now I understand why you want to start winding these things. They were originally like five bucks, now they've jumped up to eight. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to pull this out so you can see what's going on and hopefully install this. And we'll see how this goes. Alright, so I am giving you. Now, if you notice, I was in the middle of chopping the lawn. So. I have a lot of uh, this stuff. So what you want to do is, first let's go ahead and pop this off. Now I've showed you guys how to do this before, but I didn't go all the way through with it, so this time we're going to do a full thing. There are some tabs, I don't know if you can see them or not, let's get a closer look. See these tabs right here, these push in. Don't confuse it with um, this button. This button right here, you push that in and then you can pull the string. And you, you like push the well, okay, it was working. When the, there's more string in here, that actually works pretty well. So anyways, let's go ahead and go back to what I was showing you. Alright, now, when had I find these tabs? You can fill around or you can just go ahead and fill. Also, they're right where these arrows are. So you pop this out and that comes off. No problem there. All right, we're gonna. I'm gonna try and zoom in a little, so you can get a better shot of all the action. That's more of a digital zoom, but hopefully this will work. Okay, now when you pull this out, you, know, you can see I was close to being the end of the string. If you're going to go ahead and restring it, there is. Um, there's little tiny holes in there. And actually, what I'm probably going to do next time is I'm probably going to go ahead and restring this because that's going to be cheaper. Um, unless I check Amazon. So then we go ahead and we pop open from our kit. Uh, notice the size, that's important, whether you're restring or otherwise. So I guess this is the unbagging of the cartridge, if you will. Alright, so what we got here is we've got a couple, it's got like a little niche there, this whole place, a little niche there that's that's kind of holding in place. And this is really meant to just kind of keep the string from unraveling. They do this at the factory. So that pops loose there. And this pops loose here. You can do both at the same time. I'm going to do that, but you don't have to. Now, obviously it unspools really fast. Here's what I'd recommend. I'd recommend you unpop one first, or if you do both, make sure you got a finger here. And you run it through, see I'm doing that first. Then once you got it long, it doesn't matter. So then you take the other one. And you go ahead and you, un you unstrabble that one right through here. Unstrabble. I'm making words. Okay, so now I've got, it is a little loose, but I got a string here, and I got a loose string here. And it, it starts on, it, careful, because it will unbound really fast. But we're going to deal with that, and I'm going to show you how to do that. Because you'll notice it's spun there. That wasn't what I wanted. But uh, we're going to tighten it down. Actually, what we're going to do is we're going to pull it off. Because if this happens to you, you need to know how to deal with it anyways. It got all bunchy, right? I'm going to go ahead and back up a little bit so you can see a little bit better. It got all bunchy. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to rewind it to some extent. Get it so it's tight again because that's what you want to watch out for. And now, you know, I've, I've got one string here that's just kind of round up a little bit, one that's not. It doesn't really matter. Now, once you've got one where you kind of want it, so you got some length to play with, you put it, your thumb finger here, doesn't matter, and then you just go ahead and you wind the other one a little bit tight. Now we're back to where we were. At this point, you got two loose leaves. This is what I figured out works for me. And I got my thumb and finger, so you see I got kind of an octopus looking thing. So then what you want to do is you want to go ahead and you pick one side. They're not set to be, you know, like one side goes one way or one side goes the other way kind of thing. So in this one I kind of, I still got my fingers over it. I push this through. Now they're both kind of coming through, right? Then I got this into here, I let go, these are both kind of tight, and you're like, well, I don't want to waste this much string. Not a problem. At this point, see, you got the, 
you can actually kind of pull it back because it spins counterclockwise that way. Now when these spin naturally, although it's not going to work here because I got all this grass and I have to wash this off before I use it again. But now we're back in place. You can rotate this to pull in string. And what you do is you, you hit right that side button we talked about over here, this thing. I'm going to go ahead and push this once and make sure that it releases the way it's supposed to. And it does. And then again, counterclockwise to pull it back in. And we've, re we've uh, loaded the new cartridge into the trimmer. Um, keep these. If you ever think you're going to string them, uh, just go ahead and do that. And also, I mean, it's it's a useful little piece of plastic. Who knows, you ever get one of these in a cartridge and it's broken and you just want to transfer it over? Have at least one. Uh, this looks like, a, like an ABS plastic or something along that lines. And then after that, you just go ahead and put the... Um, you find those spots, you plug this bad boy back in. Now remember, never, ever, ever do this while it's plugged in. In fact, if you look at one of my other videos, I was carrying this thing wrong. I was doing the yard and I carried it by this way. And my finger caught this, it pulled in, and it's under weed eater whoops, if you want to see the damage, and it's right through my jeans. So um, I hope that helps everyone, and I'll get this up as soon as I can.